Another common way to summarize visually a data set besides the histogram that we talked about in the last video is something called a box plot. Sometimes this is also referred to as a box and whisker graph. When you go to create a box plot or a box and whisper, whisker graph, it's based on just five numbers that summarize our data set. And we've talked about all of these before um, in terms of, of what they mean. So we want to know what the minimum value in our data set is. We want to know what our first quartile is. We want to know what our median is. We want to know our third quartile. And we want to know our maximum value. For our data set. Now, uh, when we calculated these earlier, the minimum value was 17 was that smallest value in the list. Uh, the quartile, the median is that middle number in our list, which in um, this case was 61.5 years old. The first quartile was basically the median of our lower set of data here, which is 45.5. Um, and our court, third quartile is um, kind of the median of the upper half of the data. We found that to be 65.5. And then the maximum in this case was 78, the biggest data point in our set. Now, these five numbers are the ones that we use to create our box plot or our box and whisker graph. Essentially, what we're doing when we create a box and whisker graph is we're splitting it up into quarters. 25% of the data points from our list, so the bottom five numbers, are going to lie in this range. 25% are going to lie between the first quartile and the median. So the next five numbers in our list, because there's 20, the next quarter of them would lie in this range. The next 25% of the data would lie here. And then the last 25% of the data would lie in between these values here. So we're using these five numbers to break our graph up into these four sections as we go through. When we create a box and whisker plot, just like when we were dealing with histograms, our bottom axis is going to be a number line. And it's important that what we have here is we have equally spaced areas below for our label. so that we can actually get a visual uh, representation of how spread out that data all is. So for our Nobel Prize winners between 20 or 2000 and 2019, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this five number summary in, in a visual way. Okay, so as I'm going through my number line, I need to make sure that I get up to, that I at least have covered here between 17 and 78. We do want it to be equally spaced and labeled. So let's just count by tens, kind of like we did with the histogram. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, as equally spaced as we can, right? 70, 80. So our numbers there are set out and counting. When we do a box and whisker plot, the box is created between the first quartile and the third quartile. Our first quartile is at 45.5, so about right here. Our third quartile is located at 65.5, so about right here. This makes up the box part of the box and whisker plot. So this is Q1 and this is Q3. The median is going to lie somewhere inside the box and whisker plot. In this case, our median is 61.5. So that line is going to be right here. 
and it's going to lie right there. So our box is between Q1 and Q3 with a line inside the box indicating the location of the median. So notice that we have a lot of data here between 61.5 and um, 65.5, right? And that makes sense because we had like three people that were 63. Um, and then there's a little bit bigger spread here with that um, second 25%. Now the whiskers of our box and whisker plot are drawn out from the box in each direction. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna draw a whisker to the left that's gonna go down to our minimum value, which is at 17. So that's our whisker, just a line going from the minimum value up to the box. And then uh, the maximum value is gonna be the upper side of that box here. So this is our Nobel Prize winners from 2000 to 2019. And we can kind of see that spread. You can see the left skew, right? Because that left side is spread out farther. 50% of the data is between 17 and 61.5. And then 50% of the data is between that 61.5 and 78. So this gives us a real nice view of what's going on totally don't have access to any specific data points other than the maximum and minimum, which are visible here. Things we can identify, things that are what we call outliers that are really far away. You can see them, they would be stretched at the end or located at the end of a long, um, of a long whisker in this case. So we might have some lower valued um, outliers in this direction because of how that uh, how that spread is happening, where we have a big spread out on the left-hand side. One really neat thing about box, and that's all there is to a box plot, the five number summary, this is our minimum, we have a bar up to Q1, that's our box with the, Q th with the median line, Q3 ending the box, and then a whisker up here to our maximum value. Um, so really all that you have to pay attention to is that equally spaced number line below and those points in terms of what's going on. And this gives us, again, that breakdown of 25% of the data in each section. 25% is the lower whisker, 25% of the data points would lie there, 25% of the data points would lie in that little box, and then 25% of the data points would lie in that next line there. So it just gives us that a real nice vis spread. Um, visualization of the spread of how far out the data points are with some key values there to be able to ground things a little bit. Now, something else that we can do is make stacked box plots. And this is a really nice way to be able to compare two different data sets. Um, I went back and found all of, so this is all of our values from 2000 to 2019. What I'd like to do is display these with all of our data values between anybody that won Nobel Peace Prizes between 1900 and, um, well, technically it's 1901 was the first year they offered them up to 1920. So we still got 20 years represented here. And we've got these different data values. Now I went through and calculated these and let me give you what the five number summary is. Um, over the years from 1901 to 1920, I had a minimum value of 47 was my youngest Nobel Prize winner in that age. Uh, 59 was Q1, 65.5 was our median value that time. And 73 was Q3, and our maximum was 80. So now that we have these values, let's go ahead and draw a box and whisker plot. I'm gonna keep my same number line down below, and I'm gonna stack this, which means I'm gonna display it just stacked right above. So in this case, if I have, my box is between Q1 and Q3, so between 59 and 73, I have my box. So between, 59 here and 73 here is my box and my median, the line inside the box is happening at 65.5, which is right here. So Q1, median, Q3. Notice that that middle 50% is pretty together there, right? We've got all of that stuff pretty close. 
uh, similar to what we had here. Then we're going to uh, have our whiskers extend out to our lowest number, which was at 47. Which was here. And then um, my upper whisker is going to go from the Q3 box up to my maximum, which in this case was 80. So here I have, again, 25% of the data in this bottom whisker, 25% here, 25% here, and then 25% of the data points between here and here. I don't have the exact numbers that got lost in the five number summary, but it gives us an idea of how spread out the data is. Notice how much bigger that spread was between 2000 and 2019. We had a much broader range of ages skewed towards the left here. This is pretty symmetric. If you can kind of see, we do have a small amount of skew, but pretty much everything is kind of equally spaced on each side of the box. So a lot less of that. We're really centered around our median value here, which was at 65.5. Notice that 65.5 was the third quartile in this group. So that means that between 1901 and 1920, 50% of the Nobel Prize winners were older than 65.5, but only because that 65.5 was Q3, only 25% of winners were older than 65.5 between 2000 and 2019. This is actually kind of interesting also if you kind of consider that our lifespans have become greater and yet we had older winners um, in the early times of the uh, giving of the Nobel Peace Prize when that first got started. So this is a stacked plot. We just have two different data sets and we're pulling again from that five number summary from each of those as we're as we're going through and trying to decide um, and summarize in a very visual way what those are. And something stacked like this makes those types of com comparisons very similar. Um, like here we could see that over 25% of the Nobel Prize winners um, between 2000 and 2019, over 25% of those were younger than the smallest age between 1901 and 1920, which is kind of interesting. So we can draw some interesting conclusions by looking at, at these graphs in this way, um, where they're stacked on top of each other, with sharing that same number line. And the next set of videos, we'll talk about how to calculate all these numbers and how to sketch these graphs using uh, the Desmos graphing calculator tool.